Hey guys, this is GreenyXI welcoming you to Let's Play Resident Evil Zero Episode 16. Now that we've got the power on in the dam, what we're going to want to do is go up this elevator right by here. It's time to move on a little bit with the... not the factory, what's the place? <laughs> the plant, that's the one. <laughs> ah, it's been a couple of days. <laughs> Come on, we don't want to be killing zombies with our lack of... Oh my god! <laughs> with our lack of ammo and everything. So we're going to avoid enemies if possible for now until we get some more ammo. And if we avoid this one, I'll be very happy. Yep, there we go. I have had a little look around before recording, so I have a general idea of where things need to go. Because otherwise you would have been watching me do shit all for a long, long time. I'll show you. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, no. This door doesn't have a handle. Maybe it will open it by... Maybe it will open it. <laughs> by inserting something inside the hole, then turn it. Yep, we need to find something for that door. That we do. Right, let's get this map. Treatment plant. Look how big it is. It is the last place, so you'd expect it, but. Wow. <laughs> Don't think there's anything else in this room from what I could see, so let's go downstairs to the next floor. Alright, had to shut the curtains. <laughs> I say next floor is previous floor now. But here we need a battery for the forklift, so we can't do that yet either. <laughs> There's not much need to be saving up sort of healing items and things like that. <laughs> because for the last boss you will be given quite quite a lot of items and things if I remember right. Combine. No. Oh. <laughs> Cause we got we got some ammo in there already. Oh, no not that. Let's get the heal night them back. Now we know we got I think it's either two or three shotgun ammo by here. Three it is. If we ever need it, we can't do that thing by there yet with all the buttons and consoles and lights and things like that. <clears throat> we'll have to come back. It's quite a lot we have, quite a lot we have to come back for. And if I could speak properly, it'd be a good, it'd be you know, it'd be a pretty good start. I am long woken up. <laughs> I keep doing this series when, when I've just woken up. It's stupid. <laughs> it's a stupid idea. That's pretty much the only chance I get to record. Oh, cutscene. Rebecca, where am I? You're safe now. Are you okay? Could have done this. They must have been used as test subjects in Marcus's research. He must have kept messing around with the mother virus. Billy? And there we have it. That is probably that was one of my favourite cutscenes in the game anyway. Oh, didn't mean to do that. This way. Okay. And then we got Billy back. <laughs> what can we give it off? Buckshot. Leave. We'll never need that again in the game. At least I hope we won't. <laughs> It'll be a bit getting if we have to come all the way back here. But he will need to have one of these weapons, and I think it's going to be 
the grenade. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to be Billy for a while, just because. Just because. Um, but because she's on the shotgun, I want to make sure she isn't shooting. And she isn't. She's on idle. Don't want to be wasting her ammo. With that. When she hasn't got much. Um, that's it. Now that we've got Billy, we can head off and do my least favourite puzzle in the entire game. It's pretty horrible. But first, over here, lock from the other side. That's probably good if we do end up needing the hookshot, even though I'm pretty sure we won't. I can't imagine, I can't think of where you would use it again. So, I don't know, we'll see. Squish the leeches on the way up. Gonna kill one, Rebecca? No, no. Typical. <laughs> Squishy, squishy, squishy. Okay, here we go. I'll go alone. We want to split them up. This is a very awkward puzzle. If you go wrong, it's really slow and everything. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to split the video here. And... And I'm going to have a good go at this puzzle for a little while. Until I can get the, an the solution out of it and then get back to you. Because if I do go wrong, it does take a couple of minutes every time you try because it takes a while to push crates and to turn the grate as you'll see so I think that's the best idea instead of you watching me pushing crates the wrong way for like 10 minutes see you in a bit okay we're back and this time <laughs> look at that I think we're back in the exact same place anyway <laughs> this time I think I got it so let's get going um, we want to keep Rebecca up here and send Billy down because Billy's the only one who can push the crates. Rebecca can't. This is our prize over there, that valve handle. That's what we're going for. I'm going to start off by jumping over this crate. This is going to be more like a walkthrough puzzle, I suppose. I'm not going to be <laughs> saying anything other than what to do. Push it over here. Um, okay, now get him out of the way a bit and switch over to Rebecca. We are going to turn the grate to the right. Here we go. This grate is what makes the puzzle really awkward. Otherwise, you could just push all the crates up and it'd be done. Um, I gotta think. I gotta think, I gotta think. Okay, this one. What we're trying to do, look, is get all the wooden crates, the brown ones, to the bottom where the other wooden crate is on the bottom wall. Get them all down there and make a bridge across when we fill this part up with water. Oh, yeah. So, that's two done. There's one more wooden crate to get there now. We want to get the metal crate because it's useless. It's not gonna float, as you can probably guess. <laughs> it's metal. <laughs> oh, bugger. Okay. <laughs> I think we're taking the long way. We want to get this metal crate up to the top right corner, the corner opposite the ladder we came down. Because then it'll be completely out of the way for the rest of the puzzle. Thing is, once you put it in the corner, you can't push it anywhere else because it's stuck in the corner, you know. Um... Push. I'm going to push this across here towards the ladder now. I think that's what we need to do. And push it all the way down. If you push it towards a metal crate, then it's... You're not going to be able to push it down. And you'll, it'll be stuck there. You won't be able to push it anyway. Push it all the way down. As you can see, there's an indent in the wall over there. That is going to be important in a moment. So we are pretty much done. Hold on a sec. I'm not sure if it's left or right. I always get confused. And if I do it the wrong way, it won't matter actually, but... But, I, I don't know. I want it to be perfect. I want to actually do a good part to the series. 
I'll take left now, I think. Yay! I do know my left from my right, by the way. I'm just, <laughs> just this part, this sort of the perspective of it makes it a little bit confusing to me. Now we want to push. Get into the indent in the wall and push it all the way to the opposite wall. Now get Billy out of the way and p rotate it left one more time. Yeah, left. <laughs> And we're done. You can see what to do now. Just push it down. And we have made a bridge. What you don't want to do with Rebecca is fill this area with water when Billy's in it. I can't quite remember what happens. She might just say, I can't fill it right now. Billy's there. Or something similar, but... You could kill him. <laughs> now let's fill it. Here we go. Let's go. Okay. We're gonna cross this now and get our reward. What we did all that for. The handle. I expect you can remember, but there was a door where you had to fit something in and turn it. To unlock it. This is that thing. So we need to go all the way back, past the forklift. Through the pub. And in the door, next door. Um, actually, screw the herbs. We can get them later, maybe. Ah, oh, stairs. Loading stairs. Um, things do change around around the place as you go on, I think. There's a new enemy coming. <laughs> Which is scary as hell. But. Use the valve handle. Or just a handle, as it's called. Maybe if you examine it, it'll be called valve handle. Go in. It's funny you've got a valve handle to, to open a door. I mean, that's like, is this submarines, I think, have that? To lock in pressure or something. Okay. Now I have no idea. I have. I didn't look this far ahead. Actually, I didn't even do the puzzle, but I at least knew, sort of, what was coming then. They dead. Oop, another one. Let's reload for a sec. Oh, he's gonna reload anyway. So another one. Yeah, bloody hell. Oh, headshot. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Some ammo. Okay, we just used loads of ammo and now we've got it back. Very handy. Most of this episode was actually... Oh, God. Was actually taken up by that puzzle. Sorry for that, guys. If <laughs> if that bored you too much. Which I'm sure it would have. <laughs> I saved this one ammo behind. We don't need you. Ah, ladder. I remember this area having loads of different ways to go. I I don't know. We'll see now. Just gotta remember the battery is back all the way. 
and we'll be fine. Oh god, I just remember what's coming. Investigators report two. Yeah. <laughs> Should have finished with this dump long ago. Um, I'll try and pick out the bits that. But if you want to read it, then just pause and stuff. Well, whatever. Don't have to worry about that anymore. Should I use my last bullet on myself or a friend? That's such a cliche, isn't it? Especially in the Resident Evil games. <clears throat> they. They seem to have them in every Resi game. That sentence. Ooh, red. Hold on. I'm not sure why this one of these here, but we'll check in the mixing set. I want to examine just the red, actually. Because the green, the heal poison, what does the red do? Doesn't appear to be useful by itself. Ah, oh, just like a red herb. Useless on its own. Let's give it a zombie. Okay, he's down. Come on then, let's get some. Let's come, get some herbs. Because they were both hurt by the leech man outside. So maybe we'll need it soon. We've now got three healing items. That's pretty good going. And I'm going to take this herb as well. For no real reason. Let me check the map and make sure. Because this... Um, I didn't just come up here for nothing, did I? Hold on, let's have another look round. There should be something up here, I know there should. I think I know what it is too, it's just... Where is it? I don't understand what's going on. There should be something up here. It's a valve for controlling the flow of water. No need, no, okay. Okay, I'm gonna keep pressing A as I go around. There's a mixing set thing, so maybe that's all we needed, but... I don't think so. Okay, let's go back down. There must be another way out down here, then. That's confused me. <laughs> okay, that's where we came from. Oh, that's the one ammo, in it? No, don't want that. Another valve for controlling water. Hmm. There is something else around you. You wouldn't just come here for nothing. Ah, okay. Here we go. <laughs> that was stupid of me. Stupid. Oh no! What I'm gonna do is switch over to Rebecca now and get use her shotgun a bit. Um, we're both dead. That's quite good. Got them both with both hits. What the hell's going on outside? <laughs> People screaming and everything. <clears throat> Wonder if we could hear that. I think it's murder going on. Ah, oh, rain. Yeah, that's worth screaming about. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> getting a bit distracted. Let's get this ammo if we can. Something written in the corner of a photo stamp. Daddy, please come home soon. Ah, So one of the employees here... <laughs> took a photo of his daughter. Which she had written that on. That's quite sad. Anyway, this is the safe room. <laughs> Bloody hell. Anyway, <laughs> let's take the ink ribbon, because I'm going to save now. In a moment, hold on. Not a handgun ammo, that we don't need anymore. 
but what I will take is a first aid spray. Bloody Halloween, this bad's like a monsoon out there. Right, another note. About battery fluid. Oh yeah. Solution of mixed diluted solution of mixed water and sulfuric acid. It's not just getting the battery, I forgot about this part. I think this is important. We'll have another look later. Right, okay. Anyway, I'll save when I'm off, off recording, whatever you call it. I still haven't figured out what to call that. <laughs> it's been Goonie XI. Hope you've enjoyed. See you again in a bit.